On January 23rd, Eastern Florida State College held its media day for the men's golf and women's tennis teams. Players and coaches spoke with the media about their upcoming season. Golf coach Jamie Howell prepares his squad for a run at a 12th consecutive appearance in the NJCAA Division I National Tournament. Our expectations every year are pretty high. You know, we expect to compete at every single tournament we go to. Uh, you know, be, it began with our first tournament of the year back in September up at Wallace State. You know, we start the spring season, we host our own event, and that's tough enough in its own way. You know, you're the home team. You know, people expect you to do well. You're on your home course, and maybe that puts a little extra pressure on the guys. But if we if we do our job, if we prepare well, they can handle whatever comes their way. The fall is like a warm-up. The spring season is really what everyone looks forward to. It's the biggest part. We have nationals, the, um, the district event, and a lot of other ones that are very important. So, I mean, it just kind of, it kind of got me uh, used to playing college-level golf before uh, the big season starts. Of course, my personal goal is to compete in every single event. I want to be the best I can possibly be. I don't want to let my team down or myself down because I know after a bad round I go, I say, and I shouldn't have done that. That was, I messed up. And I don't want to have to dwell on something like that. So I want to be the best I can be, try to win a couple tournaments and make it to that national championship and see where we go from there. As a team, I think there's an incredible amount of talent in this team. We could go to nationals and we could blow the field away by 16 shots like we did at pre the, national, the preview this year. So well, as long as we work hard and work diligently, which our coach will make sure we do, We've got a chance. Tennis coach Chuck Jacobs discussed his expectations for the inaugural women's tennis season. Well, the expectations for this season, um, we're not going to set the bar super high because we're a first year team, but we do have expectations to actually, uh, I think, I would like to win at least 60% of the matches that we play. I, I don't think that's setting the bar too high, but actually being, you know, a good goal for the for the girls to compete. I think a main goal is for us to actually reach the national competition on the national level. I, I don't think it's out of our reach um, to say that we can go out and capture our conference. That's a that's a lofty goal, but it is within reach, I think, for us. Well, I'm captain of the tennis team this year, and it's a great responsibility to have. I love being the captain, though, and. Um, I like kind of being in charge a little bit and um, I like being able to have the players like come to me if they need help or have any questions and I can like lead them in the right direction. So I talked to Chuck and I met some of the team and I was like I really want to be a part of it because I mean I like the girls and I just wanted to get back to playing tennis, especially we're the first team, so it would show the other teams that we're here to play and like we're serious about it too. I think the chemistry is actually good, being that everybody's new. There's not one person who's been here for a year, and you know, every, you know, it's, it's they're the first team, so they, they know they're uh, part of something special. I guess you would say. I think we have a good chance of doing really great this season, and going far, hopefully to nationals is our goal. We have to place top three in conference, which I think is very doable for us. So come out and support your Titans this spring to see some exciting competitive teams with a commitment to excellence.